After two and a half weeks of traveling through the Nordics, our time in Stockholm was highlighted by Sweden's biggest holiday, Midsummer. Join us as we celebrate the weekend and voyage to our next destination across the Baltic Sea. So instead of going to the Fotografiska or the National Museum, we went to one of the only museums that actually was open, the Nordic Museum, which I was pleasantly surprised by. What did you think? Yeah, it impressed me. It had a lot of exhibits and some cool stuff. And there were a lot of posters that are specifically Nordic, which is really fun. There was also an exhibition about climate change. Very cool. Probably a little underrated. We're now at Cafe Borten, which is recommended by my friend who was in Stockholm two months ago. We all got a Swedish from you both, which is really, really nice. After eating some absolutely delightful Swedish food, we are now heading into Skansen for the actual midsummer celebration that I've been looking forward to this whole trip. Okay, looking a little movie. busy over here. Inside Skansen, we met up with the rest of our group. Ready for my right now. <laughs> Skansen, Skansen. Yay! For midsummer. And it's, and it's hot. It's summer. <laughs> and it's hot. Very much <laughs> Right now, it is very toasty, very crowded, but it's midsummer. We are waiting until the Swedish folk dancers come with the flag, and they're going to get hyped to raise this maple, and we're all going to dance with them, and it's going to be great. It was then time for the 15 minute process of decorating and putting up the maypole.
No. <laughs> they did it. It took them like 15 hurrahs, but we got it. Did you think it was gonna fall over backwards? I thought it was going to for sure, but it didn't. They saved it. I'm hyped. Yeah, yeah was, that's the weirdest thing. Like I didn't even like. Fall it. Fall it. After the main event, we explored more around Sconson before heading out. How was Midsummer, Philip? Yeah, we'll so tiring. <laughs> Did you have fun? Some. I did not like that. I, that was probably my favorite day. Besides Pull the Rock, that was probably my favorite. I love it. You know, how was it? Uh, I'm already tired, so yeah. yeah. Felt like, it felt like a childhood dream. It was a little bit of a dream come true. We always celebrate Midsummer, but to do it here in Stockholm is pretty magical. Was, and definitely. It was a magical experience for me. Uh, and I love it. To end our Midsummer, Andrew and I enjoyed a tranquil evening wandering the lovely streets of Stockholm. Our evening ended with a beautiful hilltop sunset, but maybe that day was just the beginning of a new midsummer tradition. We are going to either the Viking Museum or Adam Museum. It's our last half day in Stockholm and we're traveling to Hosted Jesus yesterday. I'm excited. Enoch is going to the Viking Museum first, which is super cool, but there's no debate for me. Wandering the museum, I got to see a ton of the legendary supergroup's collection of artifacts, from instruments to outfits. Plus, I got to learn about their new album, ABBA Voyage, which had released the previous fall. Then I headed back on the T-Bonnet as the group got ready to leave Stockholm. Good afternoon, fellow. Hello. Where are we going today? We are going onto a bus actually to go to a cruise to go to Helsinki. Like a I went for vlog. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Hey! Hey, Lily. <laughs> you ready to, for the cruise? Yeah, I, I really hope it's like a. a smooth boat because mm. my stomach is going to be questionable but it'll be good. Hmm. But as 
as you said, probably going to be tight quarters, but we're used to that. We're flexible. We're just very grateful to be here. We're very grateful to be here. <laughs> Once on board, it was time to see our new spacious living quarters. Oh, we don't need to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Hi Johnny, what you doing here? After we settled in, we had all day to relax and explore the ship, the Viking Amarella, as we pulled out of the port in Stockholm. heading right now to dinner we're having a buffet in the cruise I'm really excited The delightful dinner we shared on the boat was certainly one of the most memorable of the trip, as we dined over lively discussions and sailed past the archipelago, leaving my favorite country in the world. I just wouldn't be surprised if uh, Don't say. the food wasn't, you know, up to par. <laughs> so let's just that. On the Baltic, it was time for some very competitive Ratslap. But even more fun, we got to sing along to our group's new best friend, the legendary Chris Hawks, who performed for us all night. So I was picking up because it was the end of the Queen. So does intention matter or does it just matter because we I think intention, I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay! <laughs> Welcome to the Hotel California. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. Okay. 
Canada. Are you loving the sunset here? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> this is fun! Where's the music? I love sunsets. Yeah. <laughs> I love them. I want to live there. <laughs> Me too. That looks like the perfect house. to give him one dollar USD and have us all sign it as a little gift to him because he was such a great singer and such a great night. Yeah. Once again, thanks Chris.